Hi everyone, Drew here from Stands. This week I'm gonna show you how to change a broken spoke without removing your tire and rim tape. Now this process only works if you have good access to the spoke and you haven't damaged the nipple in any way. Uh, if the nipple is damaged, if the spoke's gone through the tape, anything like that, you'll have to remove all your, your tire and rim tape and replace it uh, through the rim. But um, this spoke here is broken kind of down here by the J-bend, so we've got good access to the spoke. We're gonna remove it uh, and leave that nipple in place and just add a new spoke. Um, I've already removed the disc rotor from this front wheel. If you have a rear wheel, you'll want to remove both the rotor and cassette so you have better access to the spoke flanges. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this little section of spoke here from the flange. That's a little broken piece there. And then what I like to do with this spoke is I like to bend it a little bit and then I have something to kind of grab and turn while I've got my, my spoke wrench on here. We'll unthread that all the way out. Now we've got that spoke removed. We're gonna leave the nipple in place, being careful not to let it drop inside the rim. Um, now you've gotta pay attention to which way the spoke is. You've got spokes that are head out or head in. The one that broke was head in, so we're gonna thread it in from the opposite side here, right through that spoke hole. Spoke is in place. The next thing you need to pay attention to um, is how the spokes uh, are aligned on the wheel. So this is a three cross wheel. So it's crossing this spoke here right at the flange. It's crossing this next spoke. And then what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we've got the correct lacing pattern. So we're gonna go um, under, or over, excuse me, the first two crosses and then that last cross, we're gonna go under that spoke. So then we were the same as all the other spokes on the wheel. Then we're gonna get it in that spoke nipple. Thread that nipple on. And once we've started to get some tension on that wheel, or on that spoke, rather. That's when we're gonna wanna start using our chewing stand, chewing up the wheel, break out the tensiometer, making sure we've got nice, even tension across all the spokes. And that's it, you're ready to get back out riding. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tech tip of the week.